Hey guys, Happy Nostalgia here, and this is the unboxing of my mystery kit, which was the Bloom and Voss BV141 um, Airfix 1 to 72nd. So this is another like um, top opening box from Airfix. Very nice um, cover art right here. You can see. Um, there's a little bit. I think this is. Um, it's not English, but I think it's a little bit of history. Here's um, the history of it from um, from um, in English. So um, it's a nice kit. I mean, I haven't opened it up yet. Um, it has one Airfix flying hours, as you can see right there. Um, those are the Humbrol paint codes right here. Um, the two color schemes you can see. Um, I don't know which one I'm going to do. I might do the top or bottom. Kind of depends. But, um, same art on the side, 1 to 72nd, um, skill level 2, so, yeah, let's cut this bad boy open, so, so here is a, um, so yeah, I was, um, excited for this kit, I have the the Catalina, they came in the same box, the same UPS box. So, um, yeah, so I might do a re review later of that. I don't know if I should do one when, should do them both simultaneously, or do one them one of them at a time. So here's just the, so here is the, um, the box opened up. So here, let me put this here, so my dog doesn't steal it. He's sitting right here. Um, Okay. Close enough. So here are the instruction manuals. Um, so some background backstory to this. So you can pause and read that. Um, let me see these instructions. So here's the first step. Here the cockpit looks a little complicated. Um, one propeller. Yeah, I'll be putting landing gear on it. And it's actually one page of steps, so these are the two paint schemes. Here you can see there's one, and then here's the other. I might do this one. I'm not I'm still not sure on this yet. Um Airfix Club application form. Um these are the decals right here. Um I don't know what these holes on number seven and eight are and I don't know not know where the um the plastic film is to cover these. Ah, oh, maybe they didn't come with any. But there's a um a lot of German crosses. So these are on both versions and then this um that can differ changes for um each. So this is the bag. It's all in one bag. The pieces are kind of everywhere. So here, let me open this up. Um, it's the newly tooled version, as you can see from the box, because it has the new kind of um, universal red kind of box that they have going on. Um, so these are the outermost wings. Um, they look very nice. Um, doesn't look like there's too much too much flash. Um, I don't know if I have anything black to put this against. Um, but yeah, it has very nice detailing right here. So, um, yeah. Next is the cockpit pieces. So here I can open it up, which is the parts for all of the clear, um, for the clear sprue. Okay. Okay, so let me cap the knife. So it has a really interesting um, front windshield here, which kind of looks interesting. This is the top windshield right here. Um, these are some cones. I don't know where... Okay, so this cone goes um, somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think this goes in the 
rear of the tail fin, sorry if this isn't shot. I kind of have this like new stand. But um so this piece right here is gonna be on the bottom of the rear. This is gonna be the top part and this is gonna be the front. So very nice quality. Um this is the bottom of the wings right here. Um not too much. Those are the top, sorry. Um this is the bottom because it has the landing gear wells. Um fuselages are in two halves. I don't know why, but um a few airfix kits I've gotten, they've just kind of almost blown up, kind of, if you want to say. Um but this is the fuselage one half and it's identical on the other side. Nice detailing. You can see the rivets. So yeah, um, very nice quality. Um, next is an actual sprue, I guess you could say. So this looks like it's the sprue for the engine parts. This looks like entirely for engine parts. I kind of like this arrangement, how they put the triangle around the propellers. I haven't seen that before. Um, these might be bomb holders, I'm guessing. I don't know if this kit comes with bombs. Um, yes, it, it comes with four bombs. Uh, light bombs, so it would be like a tactical recon. But um, engine pieces, which I'll paint, all that. So, yeah. Um, next part is looks like landing gear legs. Um, this looks like an instrument panel, chair... I don't know what that could be. Um, the doors for the landing gear, and then this is the um, main fuselage where you glue in all the people and whatnot. Um, this right here is the cockpit parts. So um, one of those windows is going to go right here. The back cover plate is going to go right there. Um, let me see if there's anything different no um yeah so that just kind of made together that's like the frontal halves and then um the last sprue and then like a thrown in piece is um these are the landing gear legs right here three figurines two guys sitting and then um one guy in the prone seat you get the same figure in the ju88 i think um almost the same you have two machine guns right here um Looks like a antenna wire, rear landing gear probably, these are the bombs, um, wheels here, um, so we have landing gear, um, with the gear down version, cause these are on both sides, and then these are flat, most likely for gears up version, but, um, the, la the wheels are still visible when the gear are up, but, um, yeah, and then the final part here is the, is the um, tail fin, which kind of looks interesting. It's very tall. Oh, wait, no. This isn't the tall tail fin. This is like a um, the vertical stabilizer, kind of. So how do I get this? So this would be... So this right here would be removed, and you'll be able to slip it right in here so that hole goes... Boop, right there, like that. So that's kind of cool. Um, this is a really interesting plane. I thought it'd be um, fun to get. So um, I might do the Catalina review next, but um, I still don't know. I might. Probably will. Um, so yeah, until next time, probably the Catalina review. But until next time, um, see you guys.